Good morning, good morning, welcome to my channel. Oh, I complete the Mark McMillan challenge. This one's 52, and we've still got to play catch up because I did start this only in the last couple of months. Now it says definition, a postage stamp, something you're thankful for, a pair of something, a piece of colouring book page, a bonus photograph. So, first of all, I actually like to add a bit of colour to my page. So I will put down something I like, I guess. No, that's got to go that way. And um, normally I will use what's in my stash. So I'm going to, as you see, I've got my finger through it and it's got a bit of a rip now. So I'll be able to rip that pretty easy. And you know what? I didn't organise myself properly. It doesn't matter. Do you know, it doesn't matter. For those of you that believe in Christmas, I hope you had a good one. For those of you that just had a holiday break and enjoyed it, I hope you did anyway. Um, I like to first just lay stuff down. I really do. Um, just if I'm not sure of. I might like it there, actually. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's been a wonderful break. It really has. And because I had to a piece of colouring, I'm going to rip some of that off. Yeah, for a colouring section. Oh, I like to col uh, collage this in. This main one. I don't know how it's going to look, but anyway, we're going to give it a go. Oh, look, it's been nice to have a little break. Um, because I was bordering on exhaustion. I really was. And because I didn't colour in that picture myself, I decided that I'd put in some of these. Because I love them. I love to include them wherever in my journal. I've still got to come on and do something with it. I might cut the tops off it. Um, oh, this one. Wrong one. Wrong one. I'll need this one. It doesn't always work either because I haven't got a flat surface. But this will do. And just a bit there. And get rid of that straight edge. And this will be the start of my um, Margaret Miller challenge. It's a bit of colour, isn't it? It's a bit of colour. But I like it. I actually like it. So, I am going to put it down. I am going to put it down. Um, I hope you've enjoyed your break. Like, honestly, I did. I was tired because we had to travel two different directions. Like we had to travel on the 23rd, we had to travel, and it did wreck me, you know. Um, so we had to go into the city, which is two hours away. Then we had to um, go the other directions, which is two hours the other way from home. But those of you who are aware, we are preparing to move. And because where we're going, um, we're getting all the furniture. So, oh, I love these bits. Anyway, so it's been sorting everything out, you know, sorting out what we're going to take. Oh, I'm not like so. Yeah, what we're going to take, 
um, and stuff like that. Now, um, it's a bigger house, which is good. Anyway, what I was getting at is, um, oh, I don't normally use a glue stick. I'm not a fan of them, but I am going to use it for the Margaret Miller one. Oops. Oh, dear. Anyway, what I found um, delightful about Christmas is catching up with my two youngest children and my grandchildren. And it's fabulous, you know, like a fabulous time to enjoy the kids. I just find Christmas is all about kids most times. But anyway, I was really excited. I got given um, an iPhone watch. I'm not wearing it just in case it rings. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, I got given lots of things. Maybe... This might be best on the inside and then on the outside. I don't know. Down here. Like so. I don't know if this is going to work, but you know what? We're going to stick it down, guys. We're going to stick it down because look at this. Printed paper. Look how gorgeous. Special water. A splash of water. Anyway, like I said, um, I know I'm hot. It's been so hot here, but I got a bit chilled with the aircon on. So anyway, it's all good. Easy to take off your warming, your warm jacket. Okie dokie. Now I've got to make sure that's the right way. Yeah, and I'm going to put that there. That sort of breaks that down. I never know what to do, you know. And I just figure with this sort of stuff, it's best to just sort of not overthink it. Really, if you don't overthink it, you'll get by. And I normally use my glue stick over where I'm going to be putting stuff down. So that way, I'm not... Um, making the rest of my book sticky. This is the easiest way for me to do it. So, oh, that should have been, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what should have been and what shouldn't have been. I'm going to do it anyway. Because it will work out. You know, like, like I said, I don't overthink. If I overthink, nothing works correctly for me. Okay, normally I might use a bit of washi too to break it all up um, or a bit of paper, depends. Now, I better start with, um, that's a photo, and it's just out of a magazine. Look, I don't over stress this. I don't be particular, meaning I don't choose everything, whatever, you know, like perfectly as what the um, prompts state because I don't always have everything. So I try and come up with something as close to what um, it states. Like I said, if if I was perfect at this, just see how I like that. It's, you know, I just like I said, I don't want to overthink it. It says a stamp. Let's just say a postage stamp. I've got plenty, and it says a pair of something, which I'm not sure if I'll do that yet. I might do a pair of birds. That can go there. That might go there. I don't like this. I didn't cut it correctly and it doesn't look good. 
I don't mind things being crooked, but I like them to blend in. I actually like that. The pillar birds. Let's see if this this will work. Because I had it undone for three days or so. But anyway, we'll see. Oh, it's working. What a miracle. I won't use a glue stick with this. It's just too hard. Okay. So I'm just going to put it down like so. Like I said, I don't overthink. I need to tear that away as well. I'll put my photo down because there's another. Now, if you've got one missing, um, use the bonus. But I tend to use the bonus as well. I just find, look, it's easier to do that. Um, it's going there. It's a bit colourful. Um, we didn't need the peri birds. We didn't need a stamp. And I really, really like this. And I think that will break it. It's colourful over the top, but I like it. If I put it there, it's not so, but it is here. So we're going to use it because I like it. So I try and get around things as best I can. You know, this is for my eyes, but I like to think that I've done it to, or did it to the best of my ability. Then I might put down some washi I don't know yet so it's something you are thankful for well family family and what's going to represent family another photo I guess no I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know Got this and I want to um, put it down because it just reminds me of Christmas and then I can put a word and it just breaks my page. Um, might be something in there that represents family. Oh, I just Um, I'm truly thankful for family. I really, really am. I'm going to put that there. See, I add things to mine. I just feel that it, um, it finishes off my page. And um, I can't always figure that out unless I add my own spiel to it. So, um, a definition, and then we'll, I don't know, I want to use these up, so, for a family, I'm going to use our house, to represent Something to be thankful for. A house, which represents my family. Um, I want a definition. Oh, let's see what's in here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to put down. This sounds like a love story. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm thinking. 
I'm going to put a definition. I'm going to put an experienced worker. Okay? Because I can't think. I really can't. So I'm going to tear that away. Oh, I'd stuck that down properly. Oh, now it is blocking up. Okay, when you have hassles with your um, glue, turn it upside down in a bunch of buttons. It'll lick a bit of glue in there, but you don't, if you don't need the buttons, you're okay. And then it's easier to use. Um, sometimes that's what I do. I just find it's easier. I tore that away. Now... Did I do everything? Bonus a photograph. This is lifting up, so we put a bit of glue there. Um, oops. Coloring book page, a piece. A definition. Postage stamps. What I'm thankful is our house, which represents my family. So that's that one. I think that's quite cute. And we might work our way back and do another one if I've got time. I don't even know how much time I've got, but I'll have a look. If I don't complete it, I'll complete it next time. Because I do got to play catch up. I do. And I don't know if I've got everything, but we shall see. Um... Um, piece of decorative napkin, bonus name. Okay, we'll do that one. Okay, piece of dictionary. I've got one sitting here. Oh. And I'll use a page. Um, oh, this is not a dictionary. I think. But because this is all I've got out, I am going to use it. Because it explains things anyway. And I'm not going to stress it out. I want to literally... I'm going to put that down there because this is like a dictionary as well. Like I said, I'm not stressing it. I just want to. Um, this one's number 15 of the Margaret Miller. I, I just want to finish this book because it won't get finished unless I pronto do these. Um, and I'm doing next year's one and oh, I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Because I'm starting it from the start. I'm going to put that down like so. We'll do. I'm just going to approximately. This is the easiest way to do it for me at the minute. If I want to move my table. Like so. I'm thinking. I love collage. I really do. Um, I'll put a bit of map there. But just, I like collaging because you're, you're sort of creating a base, if that's the terminology that's used. I've got to explain that my way. And nobody else's way because I have a hard time with my English. But um, I think that's the right term. 
when you have a base, the pages form much better. You've got more of, is it a cohesive, the word? Um, page. And that's what you want. You want your, uh, your, your, um, see, I'm stuck. Well, you want your, um, because I, I like these pages as a journal, you know. Um, I like putting in things I like. So I want to put a base to set them down on. So a postmark or cancellation. Well, we had a stamp here with a postmark. I believe so I'm going to use two of those and I might put them there or is it this one okay text or a quote um, excuse me every road should have a path so I'm gonna Put that down there and it should I believe um, a piece of decorative napkin and I've got a real pretty one here somewhere oh. it's not ready but anyway by no means oh hang on I don't have to use that I made me own decorative napkin I'm going to use this because I really like it. So, I'm going to stick that down there. And I'm only going to glue it down. Because you can make your own. How I did mine is a little bit of candle wax to make this one paper there and the beauty of this is I've got a technique that shows you how to quickly I'm going to put some of this down whoops I wanted to break this page there so that's a bit of napkin that I made we stamp Right, what else do we need? A text or a quote, which we've got up there. Bonus, a name. We need a name that I'm sure we can find in any books. There. I'm going to finish that off there. Like so. I think that looks pretty. Uh, oh, lines. We've got to do lines, guys. Which is easy. All right. We need text and I'm thinking mother's tips and I'm just going to tear that out of there oops I that, that will go in really well I reckon or there there I like it there so you know keep magazines I never chuck my magazines out not all I chuck some out but some I definitely keep for this sort of stuff there. mother's tips the text because I don't know what else to do um, text quote lines. So, what I want to do for lines is, I did have it, I'm just going to use my little 
puddle of ink. And I'm just going to line my page. Oh, I like it. I'm just going to make sure I don't crash into it. Oh, that broke it up well, didn't it? I might go this way. Oops. Oh, that looks neat. I won't blink to any more. And I'll do a bit here. There you go. That's my lines using some ink. And then all I've got to do is look for some washi to decorate my pages. And that's all we have to do with this. I've got to make sure this hasn't stopped because it tends to do that to me. It tends to do that, this camera. It just randomly just decides it's had enough. I know, I've got this bit of Florentine paper. I just want it to break this page a little. And I've inked. <laughs> I've put it on the ink. But it's all good. All good. Part of the process. So I'm just going to decorate a little bit. I am going to put... Um, some colour. And I love this. No, it's too, not this one, might be better. And this is completed. It's plain, but good. But you can put washi, so I can't do much with this because it needs to dry. But this is complete, the challenge. Ooh. Okay, so the one we did was the last one, which was, I don't want to, there you go, oops, it's on my fingers. I wanted to put something there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I can finish this off later. I've enjoyed doing the Margaret Miller Challenge. I will come back and do a few more pages of this at some stage. But there's that page. That's done. So come and join me next year to do the rest of my challenge. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'll probably do another page of some sort this week, not this one. I just wanted to complete two pages and I have done so. But I want to wish you all a very, merry, happy 2023, a joyful one. And um, a prosperous new year and hopefully we are in for better times ahead. Bye for now.